everybody. This is Chloe Hudson with World Peace Projects. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I want to talk about some of the hidden agendas playing out in Dreamtime. I want to give you a story of a specific astral experience one of my clients had and just highlight the importance of paying attention, recording our dreams and revoking what's happening in the ethers so that we don't get looped in to the karmic implications of these things that we're not consciously and willfully choosing of our own volition. And first, I want to invite you to join my Psychic Protection Immersion course happening October 16. This course will run from 10.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The cost is $222. This course will be so densely full of information and practicum to help support you in understanding the psychic realm at large and how to utilize very practical tools to help you protect your energetics, unbind you from anything that might have captured your consciousness or your energy, and help you to recognize and play a, a defense as you live your life so you don't have to pay as much attention. You can just hold the energy about you. This course is extremely dense, so you will have plenty to use later to integrate and unpack on your own time, please join me. I would love to have you. This will be my second edition. So there will be added information that we didn't experience in the first psychic self-defense course. Again, that's October 16. You can follow the link here. So, so I have had a lot of clients and or friends text, call, email me their different dream experiences because our consciousness is starting to wake up and record better of the experiences we're having in the other dimensionalities. And also we're becoming more lucid in dream time, which is fantastic. So we can recognize any of the inception, the handling, what have you. So my coaching client told me a story or rather shared a dream with me the other night. And I immediately registered what this stream was actually working to implement when he was telling me this. So let's see if you can catch it, right? So in his dream, he was a college professor and he was teaching a class alongside another professor. The topic of the class was ancient Egypt. And the other professor opens up the book to the first page to start teaching the addendum. And he says something to the effect that today we will be speaking these words to help this trapped soul escape from Nigeria. Now, the professor told my client as a professor in the dream, he says, I don't really know this content, but I'm going to teach it anyway. And they start speaking these words. And so he's having the whole class speak aloud these words to release this soul, right? So we already see what's happening here. And then the energy of the dream gets really intense. And my client said that that professor starts reading faster. And my client in the dream says, no, wait, stop, stop. And the more intense it gets and the more he says stop he then becomes lucid in the dream and he says stop now i do not consent and he wakes up okay so as soon as i hear what's happening and he speaks about nigeria i immediately know that this is what's being invoked now I'm going to take this from a very particular perspective because obviously there is a lot going on here. I've spoken about this agenda way back um, when this all started about a year and a half ago. And I probably taught this in course and not on YT, though this very specific program that I highly advise you to read and or at least the bullet points and I'll place them here. This was written back in 2010. Okay, by this group. And we all know what they like to do. Now, what really should grab us here is I want you to look at the picture. Now, 
the geographical location within the vicinity of Mali, Nigeria, these countries, that geographical zone is a very specific portal that these powers of B have been working to open for quite a while now because this is a very particular portal that opens into the underworld. Now, any of us who have lived the documentary of Constantine the movie, as Lauda likes to say, all of these movies are actually documentaries, we know that that's not something we want to F with, <laughs> okay? It is not fun by any means to get pulled into or have to venture into the underworld, find yourself out, and, you know, rescuing any souls that might be there in the first place. But if they're working in dream time to gather groupings of probably very particular people to invoke and open this portal to the underworld to release very particular souls that are most likely there for a reason <laughs> in the first place. We need to be very careful now in dream time. So this gives us more emphasis and motivation to be quite vigilant on our revocations, our spiritual warfare, our invocations, before you go to sleep, once you wake up, clearing, cleansing out whatever has been activated in your dream time, even if you're not aware, even if you don't remember your dreams, just simply make it a force of habit to cleanse out your energetics and implement your sovereignty in your will so you can supersede or unbind anything that has been placed into your consciousness and how they are trying to anchor into your creator source abilities of your original energetics and use that to their will so that they can bypass the karmic implications and leave it on to you, right? So if you guys have any experiences like this, please share with me. Again, please join me for a psychic protection course, October 16. It's gonna be a lot of fun and it is chock full of tools and useful ways in which you can practice with the other students of how to activate frequency signature reading and help yourself throughout the daily recognizing and protecting yourself in a way where you feel really comfortable in your everyday and your being and you can suss out things like this when you hear different things or see things you can immediately recognize what's going on i hope you're doing great i hope to talk to you soon take care bye <laughs>